This is a short video on how to search the online catalogue of the Archives and Special Collections. The simplest way to search the catalogue is to enter a search term into the box at the top right of the screen and click the search button next to it. For example, a search for furlough comes up with a hit list of two items. Click on a record in the hit list to see a more detailed description. Click on the alt ref number. As you can see, this particular item is a letter written in 1906 by Isaiah Brooks Jones. In the description, there is a summary of the content of the letter. If you would like to consult this item in the archives or make a request for a copy, you need to make a note of the alt draft number, which is the number that uniquely identifies the item. In this case, the number is BMSS forward slash 29381. A hierarchical chart above the description that reveals the name of the collection in which the item belongs. In this case, we can see that the letter belongs to the General Collection of Banker Manuscripts, Volume 15. This section also reveals where the item sits within the hierarchy of the collection. In this case, the letter belongs to the papers presented by Mr. W. T. Owen of Glassford, Old Colwyn, and that within that series there are further papers belonging to the late Isaiah Brooks Jones. Click on the next button to see the description for the other item that was on the hit list. This item, as you can see from the top of the screen, belongs to the Portherair collection. You can find out more about a collection by clicking on the title, just like this. You may wish to combine search terms in your simple searches, and you can use the plus sign to do this. I've searched for slaves plus the place name Clarendon, so the hit list will now show descriptions that contain the words slaves as well as Clarendon. Let's do another search using the minus symbol in order to exclude a term. This searches all fields for the word Banga and excludes any records with the word University from the search results. It's important to enter search words or phrases carefully to ensure that you find the intended results. Use double quotes around a search term to return exact matching phrases. A search for railway station with double quotes searches all the fields for the exact phrase railway station, i.e. the two words together in the specified order. If you think a quick search is likely to turn up too many results, click the catalogue search button on the left hand side of the screen. This will give you the option of searching in more than one particular field. Here is an example of an advanced search. So we'll type up Steadvod under any text and we put in a date. You will see here that the description is written in Welsh. Please note that our catalogues are only available in one language. Some of them are in Welsh, where the language of the original records are in Welsh, but the majority are in English. Let's do another search. We'll clear the box by clicking on the clear button.
So while searching under Anglesey map at 18th century, we've come up with two items in a hit list. When you start using the online catalogue, bear in mind that searching will only find the exact words used in the catalogue. So if you haven't found what you wanted, it's often best to try several related terms. So if you're searching for material relating to education, why not try related words like schools or teaching? The spelling of names and place names can also vary within a catalogue, although so, some have been standardised. For example, the parish of Llandegai, just outside Bangor, can be spelt in two ways. Llandegai with an E This comes up with 649 hits. Llandegai, with a Y, however, comes up with 311 hits. So I hope that you found this video to be useful and that it's provided you with some great tips for searching our online catalogue. Um, I hope to see you soon in the archives reading room. Take care.